Welcome to the installation video for the ShareLink 8 Ergonomic Computing Touchdown Station. ShareLink puts computers, monitors, and keyboards at the most convenient and productive position for healthcare workers when it's properly installed. To do that, we'll follow a simple installation sequence and with our expert installer, Mike Bolzinski, show you a few installer tips that make the job a little easier. ShareLink installs in this order. First, mount the lower unit, arm, and keyboard tray. Next, the monitor, followed by the cabling, computer, and covers. Then, final adjustments and a safety check. It's a straightforward one-man job, and it will take less than 20 minutes, though it may take you longer at first. You probably have the tools you need in your toolbox already. A tape measure, a stud finder, and a level, a cordless drill, and a number two Phillips bit with an extension. Three hex head bits, 1 16th, 3 16th, and 2 and a half millimeters, and a number 27 Torx bit. You'll also need a 7 16th open end or box end wrench and a 6 inch adjustable wrench. Sharelink components are packaged in three cardboard boxes. The largest box contains the lower unit, hardware, and the printed instructions. The one thing it does not contain is the hardware needed to mount the unit to the wall, which you must provide. The fasteners you use depend on the wall Sharelink is mounted on. ShareLink must be mounted to wall studs on 16-inch centers. Wood studs must be 2x4 or larger. Metal studs must be 20 gauge or heavier. Don't use wall anchors, toggle bolts, or other fasteners that rely on the drywall or plaster. They will not support ShareLink. Use number 12 sheet metal or wood screws long enough to go through the drywall and penetrate at least one and a half inches into the studs. If you're fastening to wood studs, pre-drill the holes to prevent splitting. ShareLink can be left or right-handed, and both models install the same way. Here we're installing a left-hand model. Begin by removing the cover to the lower unit with a number 27 Torx bit. Inside you'll find the installation hardware. Determine a mounting location for ShareLink that's close to both power and data outlets so you won't have a lot of exposed cable. Once the mounting location has been determined, find the studs and mark them. The top two screws holding the wall plate should be located 40 inches from the floor to provide the right height for both seated and standing users. Slide a flat washer on each mounting screw and install the first two screws, leaving about one inch exposed. Hang the unit on the screws and slide it down so the screws fit in the keyhole slots. Use the wall plate as a template for drilling pilot holes for the remaining mounting screws. Install the remaining 14 screws and washers. Remember, ShareLink will hold up to 20 pounds on the keyboard tray and a monitor of up to 20 pounds. Plus, it extends over 4 feet from the wall, so it must be fastened securely. I know it seems like a lot of fasteners, but make sure you install them all. It's the only safe way to install ShareLink. It also keeps the computer and the monitor steady. With the plate secured, insert the arm into the pivot tube. You may need to rock the arm a bit to get it past the bushing inside the sleeve. It's seated properly when you can't see any of the shaft. Take the large O-ring from the hardware pack and slip it over the tube below the sleeve into the groove. This keeps the arm from being lifted out of the pivot tube. Swing the arm to the right and use a number 27 Torx bit to remove the cover. You'll see the cable channel inside the arm. Flip up the front section of the arm, pull the plastic cover off, and set it aside. Next, take the keyboard tray, turn it over, and use your Phillips bit to remove the two screws. Pull the cover up and off. Attach the tray to the arm. The locator tab on the end of the arm will hold the tray in place while you install four quarter-inch 20 hex bolts from the hardware pack. 
Tighten them with a 7 16 wrench. Take the adjustment cable that's dangling from the arm and thread the cable into the tray and into the keyhole. Run the nuts apart as far as they'll go and slip the end bell, that's the T-bar shaped piece, into the slot on the side of the bell crank. Pull the cable tight and tighten the nuts on both sides. You don't want to get the cable too tight because it will prevent the tray from stopping when it is raised and when it is lowered. It should be easy to flip the handles and set the keyboard tray wherever you'd like it. Move the keyboard tray around to stretch out the cable a bit. If the handles have too much play in them, loosen the lock nut, tighten the adjustment nut, then re-tighten the lock nut. Once you've got the proper tension, tighten them down. Sharelink accepts flat panel monitors weighing up to 20 pounds. Monitors use mounting plates with screws set in either a 75 millimeter or a 100 millimeter pattern. This can be a little tricky depending on the type of monitor mount you have. There's hardware provided for both patterns and we'll show you how to install both. Start by laying down the monitor on a clean soft surface to protect the screen. For a monitor with a 75 millimeter pattern, you'll need the mount assembly, the handle frame, four button head 12 millimeter screws, and the four standoffs that have both male and female ends. Attach the mount assembly to the monitor with the four standoffs, then tighten. Attach the handle frame with four button head screws and tighten with a hex bit. Make sure the handles point downward and are aligned with the front of the monitor. For a monitor with a 100 millimeter pattern, attach the mounting plate to the monitor using the button head screws. Then attach the mount assembly to the mounting plate using the standoffs with dual female ends. Attach the handle frame with four button head screws and tighten them with a hex bit. Make sure the handles point downward and are aligned with the front of the monitor. Install the monitor now by sliding the mount assembly onto the end of the arm until you hear the click. For added security, use a 1 inch hex bit to tighten this bolt in the back of the monitor assembly. It prevents someone from removing the monitor and it makes the whole assembly more stable. IT or computer technicians may take over the installation of the cables and computer. Here, Mike demonstrates how it's done. First, remove the gray plastic part shaped like an angelfish. It's called the cable grommet by removing two screws. Next, take the two USB extension cables from the hardware pack. They have this symbol on them. You'll want to install these cables right the first time. You don't want to do this twice. The female connectors have a large flared end and they go all the way to the keyboard tray. Feed the female ends of the cables up through the pivot tube and pull about half of the cable through. Lay the cable into the plastic channel. Cable management is one of ShareLink's competitive advantages. It not only creates a cleaner appearance, it helps keep computer cables safe and secure. The USB cables will be routed through this small white cable clip on the underside of the spine. So remove the screw with a Phillips bit. Next, route the two USB cables into the keyboard tray through the same hole you used for the control cable. Carefully draw the cables until you have about the same amount of slack as the control cable. When the cables are drawn correctly, store both of them with a little slack in this housing. This keeps them off the keyboard surface and less likely to be accidentally disconnected. Move the arm to its fully upright position Wrap the three cables together, starting the wrap about an inch past the end of the arm with the spiral cable wrap. Once they're wrapped, slip the clip over the three wrapped cables and reinstall the clip. Here's how your ShareLink should look now, with the USB and control cables wrapped and secured. 
Next, install the power and data cables for the monitor. Lower the keyboard tray until it's horizontal. Tip the monitor and connect the cables. Then, fish both cables, one at a time, down through the top of the pivot tube. Tuck the two cables into the plastic cable channel, the same one that holds the USB cables, and snap the cover closed. You should have enough cable slack so you can turn the monitor from side to side and pivot it 90 degrees with no stress on the cables. Now, reinstall the gray angelfish with two screws. Make sure the cables lay flat inside the arm, free of twists or binds. Check to see that there's enough cable slack by moving the share link up and down. Down low, there's a lot of slack, but it's needed because when share link moves up, the cable wrap must stop short of the grommet so the unit won't bind. Now that you know the cables have the right amount of slack, reinstall the arm cover. We're ready for the computer, and almost finished now. Position the computer CPU in the lower unit with the exhaust fan toward the top. Open the side door by removing two torque screws. Connect the cables. The share link strap secures the cables on top of the CPU and a power strip if needed. Hang the top of the cover over the wall plate. Feed the power and data cables through the grommet in the bottom. Swing the cover down and install two torque screws. Reinstall the plastic cover on the underside of the arm. Back at the keyboard tray, connect the keyboard and mouse. Apply Velcro strips from the hardware pack to the underside of the keyboard to keep it secure when the tray is stored. You can install them for left or right hand use. Snap the cover in place. Install two screws. Now, a final adjustment and safety check. Check that the monitor moves easily from landscape to portrait position and from side to side. Make sure the keyboard platform and monitor move easily when pressing either handle. If it takes more than a little effort to move the platform, adjust the lifting force. Move the arm up as far as it will go. Insert a 3 16th hex bit into this screw and turn it clockwise to provide more lift or counterclockwise to reduce lifting power. Finally, check that the share link folds up completely for storage and that the keyboard and mouse are secure when stored. And that's it. You've safely and securely installed the ShareLink 8 Ergonomic Computing Touchdown Station 